Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look today at a new game called Westmark Manor. This game was released on Steam on June 18th, 2020. Its trigger price is $22.79 Canadian. That's probably 19 20 US or regional equivalent. And it's developed by Nodbrim Interactive and published by Toadman Interactive. So this is a journey into the occult, a mind-bending survival horror game with a heavy focus on solving puzzles and exploration, inspired by the formidable H.P. Lovecraft, who I like very much. Uh, it defaulted to controller when I started up. I thought, why not? Let's let's give it a go. Let's have a look at Westmark Manor. Hopefully, it's more puzzly than survival horror e. How do you view exploration? Um, interesting obstacle or don't know. Oh, I see. Um. Be nice if I knew what sigils meant. Um, don't know. How do you view obstacles? Dreadful. Is free will real or just an illusion? So nothing, less stamina, or less inventory. It's all in our minds. Are you a careless person? No. This I have no idea what's happening. This is all a puzzle. Is time relevant for pleasure? Uh, don't know. This game needs huge amount of patience and attention. Stay alert and vigilant to your surroundings in order to survive and finish the game. Westmark Man is best played in a dark room with headphones on to get the best experience. It's um It's July 10th, 6 p.m. Sorry, it's it's very nice outside. It's like 25 degrees Celsius. I'm not not closing that window. It's been shit recently. <laughs> It's too spooky already. Oh, look at that book. This is too much for me. Can't deal with it. It's okay, I look like a puppet. It's even creepier now. And there's a burb there. Paying attention. Don't want to miss a thing. And how's PT? This does not bode well. Not for me. The easily spooked, they call me. Oh. My head. Did he say anything else? I can't flip and hear anything. No, I guess not. Okay. He wasn't talking at all. What an odd place and it's dark. I need to find light somewhere. Okay. Do I need to... I mean, like, those sounds are fairly loud. Just crank it, I guess, and turn it down in my ears. Okay, off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. my notebook. Ah. That's very loud now. Okay, it's just some controls. Great. Off we go. The oh, that's a little bit... dark air filled me with dread. Now he's speaking. It is no mere darkness I see before me, I whispered to myself. Death itself. Oh god, this is like full on like survival horror, isn't it? I'd rather avoid the deep unknown darkness if possible. My condition makes me stiff in fear if I subject myself in it for too long. Uh, I don't think English is their first language. I'll need a light source to see what I'm doing in the dark or in the room. Darkness can also be very scary in some places, and having a lantern helps. Oh, this sounds very annoying already. <laughs> Find a lantern with oil or turn on lights with matches in some rooms. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is very dark. Jesus, table. You found things. Okay, I've got a match. That's good. The sanity as well. My god. Okay, so this is just amnesia, isn't it? I'm very amnesiaed. Uh, what can I light on fire? What do I have? Plain match. And those are going to be useful. Oh, my darkness sensitivity is pretty bad. But he's so glitchy going up there, Jesus. Do I, like, light the match, maybe? Nope. Can I take the lamp? <laughs> do not go insane. Okay, thank you. Okay, it looks like there's a light, like, just over here? Is that right? Oh, here. There we go, okay. That's quite useful, you can um, press select. See that, so there's something to loot over here. Or not. Pick up. 
There is a pickup here. Is it on this desk? There's no pickup here. <laughs> oh God, it's quite spooky. Door. That's strange. The door is missing a handle. Don't let me interrupt you, Theodore. Is that the pickup, maybe? Oh, he's very injured. Is it not the pickup? Is it in this chest? Yes. We can now Strange. open it. Uh, it looks like some sort of seal's missing from the locking mechanism. Okay, I've got some things in my inventory. So if we press Y, there we go. Combine it with that. We've got the Hermetic Seal of Light. Can I use it? There we go. Ooh, a lantern. Could become very useful. Hide fate. Well, I don't know what that is. This is going very quickly. Uh, light. Yes. And we got the handle. Great, there we go. Uh, right trigger. Don't have any lamp oil, though. Oh, go on, fella. I think I'm also out of matches. Oh, I do have oil flask. Okay. No matches. So let's... Uh, handle. There we go. Spooky, spooky. Come on, give me a puzzle. Hello? Anyone there? No. Oh god. Oh god. This is too much. Oh, bollocks. You say oh, bollocks? No subtitle on that one. Billowing wisps of damp air filled my lungs as I took in the familiar yet haunting atmosphere. I thought to myself that this may look and feel like fragments of the Westmark estate, but it is not. It's not. It's not him. Oh, sigils. There was something about sigils when I was answering those questions at the start. Sigil and door is a lock of some sort. Number on the door represents the toll to unlock it. Okay, so it was nine. It requires sigils by completing puzzles. Okay. And you can see your sigils in inventory. Sigils. Need nine sigils to unlock the gate. So we've got zero. And our playtime is going up there. Okay. I assume this is a puzzle? Save. For one sanity. Wow, this is quite unforgiving. Uh, no, if I die, I think I'm going to quit. What happened here? It's a lot of blood. The sight of this makes me nauseous. Oh, his sanity's going down. That's not good. Grand clock. I just want to do a puzzle. You see, it's like a 145. Pocket watch. Interesting. Found this pocket watch, been looking everywhere for this one. It's not taking a missing hands, better keep it so I don't lose it. Okay, let's get away from this blood. The blood. It's fine, Henri. Am I Henry? Where did I get that from? Is my name Henry? I don't know. There's a shitload of fucking film grain on this. Of course there is. I don't think I've played a game without film grain in the last, like... Both both games I've recorded today have had shitloads of film grain. Whoa. Whoa. I fucking hate film grain. Uh, there was no settings, really, was there? No, I already went through them. Post effects? Oh! Oh! Oh, it's like a whole new game! That is drastically different. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Less spooky, but you know I fucking hate film grain. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of it. Is this spooking me? Uh, please, can I just do a puzzle? Do I need my lantern? Yes. Probably. 
I'm ready for my puzzle. Small clock. I stopped at 9.20. Oh god, I'm probably supposed to remember these. 1.45 and 9.20. Crimson flask. What's that? Oh, that's quite useful. Uh, I will just nom that. Delicious. How's my map looking? <laughs> Not great. Oh, puzzles are question marks. Okay, look out for those. This is kind of cool. Um, oh my god, there's different floors as well. Jesus. Oh, what's going on there? Puzzle? Puzzle! No? No puzzle? Interesting. I want to do a puzzle. What book is it? No puzzles. Present moon symbol etched to the doorknob. Okay. Did that turn off the fire? Uh, yes? Oh. Uh. Hmm. I'm very, quite insane from that. Cognac room. Puzzle? No puzzle. Oh! What? There was someone here. Let's go off our matches. Yoink. Books. Though there could be of use was stuck between the pages. Uh -huh. <sighs> Great. So what else is in here? Something to grab? A pickup and a save point. Crest piece. Table. I crossed the lounge where my father was sitting by the fire, smoking a pipe. Son, I need to have a word with you. Son? But father, come closer. With quivering steps I approached the chair, for I knew what he could do to me. Trust is a fragile thing, you know. Either you have it, or you break it. I stood there in total silence. I have given you a considerable amount of time to change your ways. I expect a modicum of respect in return. You're a man now, and it's time you took some responsibility. Social activities during the day is all well and good, but sneaking out after nightfall is very loose behavior for a man of your stature. Lucy Goosey. Have you not heard a word I've said? He grabbed him by the arm and moved to reveal an empty bottle standing on the side table. Father, no, please. Stop twiddling around and come with me, boy. Twiddling. <laughs> I remember him taking a faulty step and you what? down the stairs like a doll. Sorry? Breaking every bone in his body. What? <laughs> a cracking egg. A and that's how his... Oh, I got a sigil. It was all a puzzle. I did it. No, I'm good. Gonna have to walk across the fire again. Oh, artifact. This looks. Is that a puzzle? No. I see a strange block though. Okay, I don't understand this first puzzle I've seen, so I'm going back downstairs. Oh, I. Oh no, I just went a little bit insane and fell on the fire. Lost in darkness, okay. Revive, I guess. I've got eight sanity points. I didn't realize that was health, jeez. Okay, so does standing on this put out the fire? Yes. It's not much of a puzzle. It's a shit puzzle. Uh, I don't really want to go into the basement. No puzzle there. Oh, am I out of lamp? Oh no, I'm good. Don't want to be out of lamp. Deep within us shall not be dragged out by the puzzle. Yes, puzzle. That's a useful crafting kit I should take with me. Interesting. Okay. The crafting recipes. Gained my sandy point back. That's quite cool. 
But it's not a puzzle. That was a puzzle, apparently. <laughs> if if it didn't say anything in um <laughs> a heavy focus on solving puzzles. <laughs> That's a fucking lie. Huh. Interesting. A hatch. Where? Need to find the other end, I guess. That's not really how secret passages work, but okay. What's this red door? It's locked. It's locked. Boy, I'm not doing much here. Um, I guess we just go back to the main room. Aaron. Oh, okay. Clay. What else had some? Those boxes. Maybe. Great. Need an axe to get through that. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is a very spooky room. Let's go out here. Garden door. Um. Locked. Okay. Now that's boarded up. <laughs> I can put away my lantern now. Did I go right? I don't think so. But I do have a sigil. Oops. Pull out a lantern. Book pile. Here we go. <sighs> Got some matches, though. Let's go upstairs a little bit. Oh, God, Crimson Flask. Sweet. Dun dun dun. It's a man. Is there nothing up here? Oh, there is. Entrance hall, second floor, okay. Here we go, this is where we find the puzzles. Just a puzzle. Please, I've been going for like 20 minutes. Storage box. It's locked. Need a reliquary key. There's no puzzles in here, is there? No. Of course there isn't. <gasps> oh! Spooky spook. <sighs> I'm rapidly losing interest in this game. It's locked. What? Am I not supposed to come out to this floor or something? <laughs> Aaron, it's locked. Great, I can do some crafting, maybe. I'm just back up here. I think we're going to end this video without seeing any puzzles. I just phased through the wall there. Those are unconvincing looking spikes. Can't open this one. Ow. You don't move fast enough. <laughs> Office. Just stuff to loot again, okay. It's locked. it's locked though. Okay, um <laughs> That that that's all I'm gonna do. Is it dark in here? No, I'm fine. Right, that was um that was Westmark Manor. It's it's not early access, it's full release. I don't see how you can <laughs> say in the Store page says a heavy focus on solving puzzles, <laughs> but I didn't encounter a single puzzle. And I, I, I explored a fair bit of this house, but not a single actual puzzle. But I got a sigil by sitting through a cutscene. It's not too spooky, um, that appeals to me, but it's also very slow paced, doesn't appeal to me. Um, there's no puzzles, doesn't appeal to me, and it's very boring, also doesn't appeal to me. So if you're desperate for um, a puzzle survival horror game with no puzzles, this is your game, I think. There you go, that was a look at Westmark Manor. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!